In Churchland High School in Portsmouth, Virginia, Maury taking on IC Norcom. Norcom favorite to win this game. Maury and their head coach Jack Baker had other ideas. As you see there, Coach Leon Goolsby for Norcom. And their star player, Dorian Finney-Smith, who was named Eastern District Player of the Year. But early on, first half action, it's Alfonso, or excuse me, Jamal Ferguson getting the dunk. The sophomore, as you see right here, gets the steal and then flushes it with the one hand. Coming right back though, Norcom driving, penetrating inside, outside action for the open. Three, no good, but a great athletic tip in. There's Finney Smith getting one of his mini boards for the Greyhounds, but working the ball around is Maury. The Commodores get the layup up the glass and in for their big man, Alfonso Leary. Alfonso Leary, nice move in the paint, but coming back, I see Norcom wide open layup as the Red Sea Party got the layup to go. Kenny doing it in the paint. Now Kenny from Suffolk hits the three from way downtown. Bang, Jeremy Canty with an NBA three-pointer where they play the PIT in Churchland. That's right, but coming right back. Nice drop off dunk to the inside for the big man. Way to finish the play despite the bodies on the floor. The 6'8 senior Leary gets the dunk. Now Ferguson goes up strong, draws the contact, finishes and goes to the line for, th for one as, the as Maury continues to push. Now Ferguson with the great Layup after the assist by Sim Frazier. We'll take another look at it, the alley-oop. Simple, nice layup up and in. Great fast break transition bucket there. 23-17 the score in favor of Maury. Still in the first half as Coach Goolsby trying to implore his team to play some defense as the Maury cheerleaders obviously excited by what they're seeing. And even more so now as Sim Frazier, left hand shot no good, but can he Gets the block, unfortunately he'd get called for goaltending. That's right, we'll take another look at it, Chris. Once that ball touches the backboard, you're not allowed to touch it. And that put the two points on the board for Maury. Now Maury breaking the press, finding the open jump shot. The shot no good, but there for the follow is number 34, Kobe Williamson. Williamson would have a big game for Maury. And with that offensive explosion, you see Maury jumping out to the early 30 to 17 lead at halftime, but they would not be done on this fast break, leading to the easy dunk. That's Ferguson once again off the pass from Frazier. Ferguson, as you see, again, likes the one-hand dunk, and he certainly can do it. The sophomore already getting looks from colleges in the Division I. And you see down low, Leary with a nice backdoor pass to Sim Frazier cutting right through the defense. Norcom just shutting it down here in the second half. That's right. Great backdoor cut, but not coming back the other way. Norcom inside, got the bank shot to go to cut the lead, but just not enough time left for them. You see the dispirited fans of Norcom, not, not a good sign when the, the uh, margin is greater than the points you've put on the board, Matt. As you see Goolsby trying to diagram a 27-point play, unfortunately Sim Frazier spin move all the way to the basket with the left hand. Great athletic move, able to avoid the defender. We're taking another look at it. Great spin move and just was able to kiss it off the glass with the easy layup. And batting the ball, there is Stias underneath alone for two as Norcom Adds another two points on the board. Unfortunately, it would not be enough as Maury comes away a victorious Eastern District title. Goes to them 63-41. to A thorough thrashing of the Greyhounds of Norcom. As you see, Sim Frazier with 16. Ferguson with 18. Kobe Williamson had 11 points for the Commodores. Finney Smith, 17 points. Three points off his season average.